So Lord Howe's a bushwalker's paradise. But if you've been here before and you've done all the big hikes that, you know, and a lot of them you can do yourself, maybe you're looking for something just a little bit different. This is really unique because not many people get to go. An off-track walk to a feature called Above the Cross, which is on the northern edge of Mount Lidgebird. Lord Howe is such a fantastic small community and as a small community its people rely on tourism to actually just make a living and to get by. So if you're one of those people who might think oh I don't need a guide maybe just have a little think about how people on the island rely on guiding income whether it be for boats or from hikes, restaurants, that kind of thing and maybe just think of it as a little bit of giving back. So you've got the top of each lava flow there identified with the red coloured oxidised basalt. You see a lot of gas incorporated into the flow itself, so identifying lava that's been brought up from very deep, very quickly. So the amazing thing about hikes like this or bushwalks, you know what, they're not for everyone. So maybe just check if it's the kind of stuff you'd enjoy doing first. And now, it gets even more interesting. We've reached the saddle between Mount Gower and Mount Lichbert, and now Dean is heading me off track up through the palm forest, up above all of that, to a place called Above the Cross. And at this elevation point, we start to see some interesting changes in the vegetation. Uh, trees like the scaly bark. So this guy is really beautiful. It's endemic to this forest. The great thing about these spiders, and the, well actually the great thing about Lord Howe, is it's kind of a bit like New Zealand. Nothing here is going to hurt you or bite you. Let's get a bit emotional. And it is views like this. This is what makes going with a guide like Dean here so worth it.